let me just get situated in my chair. Just make sure everything's ready. I feel comfortable, somewhat comfortable. <sighs> oh man. I don't know what the hell's been happening to me recently, but I feel like more tired than usual. Like physically tired. Quick save. Look at all these quick saves. Aren't they beautiful? Don't they just get you all hot and bothered? All right. Ah, I just cracked the shit out of my back. It felt so good. <coughs> Can you tell that I just woke up like five minutes ago? Uh-oh. Hold up. Wait a minute. Masquerade? You okay? Alright. You're doing good. Nice job. Live a little. Live music. Friday. Friday night dead rise. Saturday. Ghoul Town. Okay. Where the fuck am I? Am I at, uh... Am I in Hollywood? I am in Hollywood. What the fuck? Hold up. <laughs> Where the hell? My glasses are like... There's a smudge on my glasses. And I don't like that. Where the hell did I put my, um, my cloth? I have like a, I have like a little cloth that I use. Wipe my glasses down. And I can't find it. It doesn't help that I'm already situated in my, in my streaming position. In which, I do not want to get up from. So, let me do what I'm not supposed to do. And just rub my shirt all over my glasses. Make it worse. Eh, it's not that bad. Eh, it's a little bad. <laughs> it's a little bad. I can fix this. What the hell did I just drop? That was a TV remote. Uh-oh. That's a bad thing to do. Don't want to drop those. Alright. Back to more Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Where we last left off, I quite don't remember. Um, what the fuck did I do? Oh, we, uh, we went, we did a, we did a lot of shit, actually. I think we went and we killed, killed some dude. What was his name? Muddy? Or some shit like that? I think we finally found that guy or something. We went, killed him, saved the masquerade. Um... There was like a snuff film or some shit that we had to track down. We did that, found this ugly ass looking dude, fought him. He ran away into some underground and there we fought a bunch of like homunculus or some shit, a bunch of ugly things. And then went further, deeper into the ground to find out where the Nosferatu were hiding. And then we met two Nosferatu. One was like a weird hacker guy. The other one was like some chick who was... Who is just cursing her 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 wonderful appearance? And ooh, I'm low on blood. Why am I low on blood? Maybe because I was getting my ass kicked. And then uh, we met Gary, who for Nosferatu, if I remember correctly, the dude he just he didn't even look that bad. He just he just had some jagged teeth and pointy ears, and that was pretty much it. And and like gray skin. Other than that, for Nosferatu, he kind of, he kind of got off lucky. Are you? What button was it? F9? F9. This guy was like standing here like he was in a daze. I'm not sure if I fed off him or not. Okay. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, he's dead now. He had a gun on him. That's why I quick saved. Huh. I didn't think I... 
I didn't think I fed on that guy. Oops. I don't want to lose my humanity over that. So that guy already had his... Already had uh, some suckage going on over there. I guess when I came back from... From the underground... It didn't quite... It didn't quite, like, fully restore him. So now, if I remember correctly, we need to head to Chinatown to, um... Sorry, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I sucked the dude's blood, and he's like, Hey, man, listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You didn't, you didn't get as much as you thought you would. He's like, I'm a little bit anemic, you know? Um... So what the hell am I doing? Oh yeah, I think we gotta head to Chinatown to look for one of the Nosferatu that went missing. But before that, I think we might have some some wonderful sight. Did somebody just like phase through me? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Alright. So I think we have some um some side quests we can do. If I remember correctly, is it L? It's the L button. Alright. Spies, Gary wants you to find his spy, Barbarus, who was sent to Chinatown. Alright, cool. Uh, Tangled Web, Amalia wants you to plant... Um, hold up, she wants you to plant and activate cameras in Tawny's session. Okay. Apartment Hollywood, bedroom, one in her bedroom. Okay, one in her bathroom, one in her bedroom, one in the kitchen. Tangled Web, that's the one. Help, help Mitnick? I don't, I don't know how to say his fucking name. Help him set up a new Nosferatu network. Contact you with instructions via your email. Okay. Go the way of the kings. You have defeated Skizmisk. Or whatever the fuck his name is. In his lair. Alright. Hopefully it leads you to Nosferatu. Now go and find them. You should also tell Isaac about this later. Oh, so Isaac is the, uh... Isaac's the guy. <laughs> Isaac's that dude, um... Prince wants a sarcophagus now. Yeah, Prince can go fuck himself. Chinatown. Alright. So we have some stuff we can do. Um, our apartment is back in Sky... What is it called? Skylines or some shit? It's back in downtown. So let's head there, grab the... Grab, um... Whatever. Where to? Where to? Just drive. Shut up and drive. So let's go check our emails. Oops. What the fuck's happening? Every time, every time I load to a different place, I get this... The fucking window for Masquerade just goes like, The game's not responding. And it scares me. Especially since, uh, during the last stream, like, it fucking crashed on us. Good thing that I saved like a motherfucker, but it crashed on us. And I was, I was very scared. Guys, get out my way. Get out my way. Get out my way. Thank you. I'm gonna head in here and see if I have any money to collect. Do, 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 do. You're still here? Fuck. Money, right? I've got your cut right here. Money, right? Thank you. 125? I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill you. I'm getting tired of your bullshit. I really am. First night, you gave me like... You gave me like 200 or something. I was like, alright, whatever. Second night, you gave me 500. I was like, okay, that's more expected. There are time around... I'm, I'm just saying... I'm just saying numbers. I'm not sure how many times I came and visit her. But it's been a while, and like... 125 bucks? What the fuck's going on here? Why are you... Why are you doing this to me? Where's the apartment? Oh, it's this way. It's like, why are you doing this to me? I feel like you're just intentional. Like, first of all, you won't let me put my input on the club. That sucks. Second of all, I feel like you're just intentionally taking my money. I think I'm on the fourth floor. Did I click three or four?
All right. Hey, hey, Heather, how's it going? I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please. Master, just a few drops. Okay. <laughs> not gonna say that's not a little weird, but I, I guess, I mean, it's kind of, isn't it, isn't it kind of like, you know, if you're a ghoul, isn't the blood kind of like a drug to you, right? You need it, you need that fix. All right. <laughs> I don't know, what have you done for me lately? Yeah, sure, whatever, here, here's some blood, whatever. Thank you. <sighs> <coughs> Back at it with more. Vampire the Masquerade. Yes, I am. Next to you, of course. Welcome back, Ethanol. Nice to see you. I just slammed my fucking mug down on a table near me. I'm pretty sure the microphone picked that shit up. Isn't that cute? I'll see you later, Heather. Whatever you say, ghoul. Don't burn that blood. Last you get for a while. Goodbye. Oh, well, that's kind of mean. The other one's kind of creepy, but that one's kind of mean. I don't want to be mean to her. I mean, she got nobody in her life but me, I guess. Slammed that mug. You know, since it's now like officially the winter time, is it officially the winter time? When when does winter officially start? Is it November twenty first, or is it December twenty first? When is the winter equinox? <laughs> Heather's my day one writer. <laughs> Heather's got my back. Where's that clip of, uh, I forgot who it was in the clip, but fucking, it's like, I'm assuming it's rappers or some shit, but he's all like, this is my homie, he got my back, listen, <laughs> if I'm gonna fight, he gonna fight with me, if I'm going down, he's going down with me, and if I'm gonna die, he's gonna die with me, <laughs> and the guy's like, wait, hold up, hold up, you're going too crazy here, buddy, that's Heather to me, winter solstice is September 23rd, September? Isn't that autumn? I thought that was I thought that was fall. Then when the fuck is the fall solstice? Solstice. Why did I say it like that? Oh, whatever. All right. Check my emails. Got that ghoul hack in my shit. Password is summarized. Accepted. Yep. Number ten is review. One of them is September twenty third. Yeah, I think that's for autumn. I recently read Mr. Flayton's. Uh, that was me stretching. I readly, uh, I readly, I recently read his his scathing review, and the son that I must tell you that I am extremely happy with you. Blah blah blah. Accept payment. I've left it in your mailbox. Oh shit. Well, let me go down to my mailbox and go grab that bad boy. Next one. The cost of an attack is often paid later. What? Okay. Alright. Okay, that's creepy, but alright. Uh... I got the information on the first of the network hubs. The terminal is in Santa Monica in an old place called Megahertz Computing. I'll send another emailing with the recon power up. Uh, what? Oh, power up the terminal, find the net security folder, and run the the skirt the skirt net. I can't say that. Run that command. The password on the folder is Gil Bates. That's hilarious. <laughs> Unfold. Um, don't ask. I'll message you when I see the hub activated. Megahertz computing is at the end of the second street in Santa Monica next to the asylum. The only entrance is through the back door. Oh, so it's that locked door that I ran into. Okay. I'm leaving you a key for the door in your mailbox. All right. Sweet Kindred, thank you again for all you did for me. I want you to know that I meant it when I said I adore you. It made me feel that the world made me feel the world was not nearly so dark and desperate. I hope to see you again in my club and in my dreams with all love, Vivi. Prince is now promoting you. Is this a new one or is this something I haven't read before? Let me see. Hey boss, did some spring cleaning today. Came across something. Might tickle you. A kid used to live here. An unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Vorman. 
got in touch with with nostalgia okay I'll trade you a poster of that lunatic for wait what okay so I got a couple of things in my mailbox all right interesting I don't know why I'm walking in here for some reason I feel like I'll find something in my bathroom making sure Heather didn't lock up more people do I have anything in here wait no I don't I just checked it my memory is a little shot today oh see you later Heather you be good now you hear has to be the slowest fucking elevator known to mankind. Wait a minute, should I check my fridge? Would blood bags be like restored in there or whatever? Uh, whatever, I should have like a shit ton anyways. Mailbox. Money envelope. I will take that, thank you very much. Key. And... What? Didn't this dude said he was gonna put something in my, uh, in my fucking mailbox? Like a poster or some shit? Lug bags do not respond. Okay. Well, that sucks. I mean, you would expect Heather to- come on, Heather. I mean, I guess I can just feed off of Heather. I don't want to hurt Heather. That's my homegirl. That's the one you don't touch. Even though the game is 100% going like, eh, whatever, do what you want. You know what I mean? Alright, let's see. Next. Prince is promoting you. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Uh, Kay used to live here. Unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho. I got in touch with Nostalgia, so you find a copy of Tap Hotel starring me. I'll trade you a poster of that lunatic for it. Oh, put the videotape in my mailbox. Wait, what the fuck are you talking- wait, what? Oh, I gotta find a copy of Tap Hotel. What is that? Is that just like a- is that just like a porno? <laughs> I guess I'll just head to the to the adult to the adults uh, shop, the porn shop. See if that guy's got it. <coughs> Man, I'm like compared to all the other days I streamed today. I feel very very laid back. You know, maybe it's because we just finished. Uh, well, I want to say we just finished Corpse Party, but even then. Even then, I'm looking at, like, the extra chapters just in case I'm like, is this important to the story? Should I stream these? And I think at some point I'm going to stream them. Not now. Not now. I will give uh, Corpse Party a bit of a break and go into, like, something else and continue with uh, Vampire. But just looking at it, I'm like... I'm like, there's some stuff in those extra chapters that explain a lot of things. So, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to do those one day before the end of the year. Need a ride? I do need a ride. Thanks for asking. Let's head to Hollywood. See if we can go find ourselves a dirty video. Uh, which way? I think it's this way. It's the porn shop. Here it is. Hey, dude. What can I do for you, Slick? Hey, man. I got some questions for you. Yeah? What do you want to know? I don't like when you ask me like that. Uh, tell me about this place. The sin bin? Man, we've got filth of every flavor. 
Just tell me what makes your bits tingle, Jack. I'll set you right up. All right. Tell me about your products. Man, we got everything you'll ever need. Softcore, hardcore, gay, straight, farm, or furry. We got shockers, shivers, self-lubricators, and strap-ons. Chains, crops, and canes are in the back next to the triple ripples. Like I said, we got it all. What the fuck is a tri- <laughs> What is a triple ripple? What the fuck? Okay. All right. Yeah? What do you want to know? Yeah? What do you want to know? Tell me about Hollywood, dog. Hollywood? What do you want to know about it? Why you seem so surprised? <laughs> Sitting here talking about porno and triple ripples, and the dude's like, Hollywood? The fuck? <laughs> I'm here to talk about something to make your bits tingle. Uh, let's see. I don't know, let's talk about some hotspots. Which ones? I don't know, dude. The Asian theater. Have I even been in there? The old Asian theater? It's been closed for a while. Place gives me the freaking creeps. Seems like everyone's got a Hollywood ghost story, but you walk by that place and look at it, you'll swear something's looking back. Alright. Alright, I'm out of here, Flynn. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck a triple ripple is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Let's see. I don't know, is that like an official side quest that I got now? Tangle web, blah blah blah. Would it be in downtown? Santa Monica? Hmm. Is looking for this tape an actual thing I can do, or was that like just flavor text? Because if that was flavor text, then that kind of sucks. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna do as much as I can, right? Does the peep show even continue? Or did I like completely shut, uh, shut this shit down after I killed that girl? Well, see you later, Flynn. You are of no help to me. All right. Let's see. Um. Her apartments in Hollywood. All right. Well, where's the apartments? Hmm. Industries, jewelry, Asian theater, Ground Zero, cemetery. Hmm. Where the fuck is Ground Zero? Oh, it's number 12. Wait. Right here. What? <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait. Ground Zero is the internet cafe, right? Fuck. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to, you know, remember shit. Bunch of homeless people back here, so I can't do nothing. They'll call me out in two seconds. I guess I can talk to Isaac, right? I want to know if there's anything in the trash, okay? Hey Breezy, how's it going? Hope everything's lovely with you guys. <coughs> I still have a slight cough. Slight cough. As I as I hulk my fucking lungs out. Hey Isaac. Good evening. Evening, man. King's Way. There was this guy. Notice I use past tense. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. Oh boy, is it a bullet to my skull? Wouldn't be a bribe, would it? Hmm. Certainly. 
Mm, certainly. Okay. Um, what can you tell me about Velvet? Actually, I would like to know. You've met VV, have you? Of all the kindred I know, she seems the most alive. She's still young, though, but nonetheless adept. She's not my child, but she's become like a daughter to me. Oh, interesting. All right, we'll see you later, Isaac. Feeling tired, just want to say hi and watch a little bit of the stream? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I feel a little tired, too. But it's because it's one of those... It's like, it's like when you wake up and you feel drowsy. That's the tiredness I'm dealing with right now. Just kind of laid back, you know? Alright, so where the fuck is the apartment? It said it's in Hollywood. But where can I go? The Lucky Stars is a motel. Oh. Okay. Guess I found the apartment. Alright. Well, let me not fuck this up. I'm gonna save this. Huh. Nine lies, celebrity ass Rivers walks away from deadly crash. Oh, so he was a celebrity. Oh, well, he wasn't lying about that. Okay. What? Oh! <laughs> ah! I'm sorry, I didn't think people would be home. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. <laughs> oh shit. Oops. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> My bad. Alright. Okay. Let let's do it different this time. This might be one of the few times where the sneak stat is important. Alright, so I gotta put some cameras in here, right? We said bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen? Hey. You saw nothing! Shut up! Hold up. It got updated. I want to know what the hell just happened. Did it say anything about being seen or not? I would assume being seen would, like, ruin it, right? Oh, uh, well, yep, it got, I guess, uh... Huh. Yep, failed. Because I was noticed. Alright, cool. Damn, that's gonna be difficult. Oh, that's going to be difficult. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So, I wonder if just using trance right out the gate would count as be as me being spotted? It might. It might not. So I know you're over here on this side. Do I just wait for you to walk on out, or what do I do? I think if I get too close to her, though, she'll just come out of her trance, right? Get some of that blood back. Come on, girl. Move out the way. I need you to need you to get moving. Hey, go check that out. That's crazy. Cup went flying over there. I'm just gonna try walking past you. 
I'm pretty sure you'll notice. Yeah. You snap at it, like, instantly if I touch you, right? Shit. I may have broken her. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk on out and walk back in. Maybe reset their positions. Quick story, someone burned their dinner in my apartment last week and caused the whole building to have the alarms blaring. Oh, Is it one of those things where like the fire alarm goes off and then all of them go off simultaneously? Hallway was- Oh fuck dude, I don't know. It's both a good thing but also a bad thing cause you can easily set off a fucking fire alarm. Right? Like, sometimes there won't even be, like, visible smoke. And just, con just like, depending on how close your stove is to the fire alarm, you can just set that shit off real easily, especially if you're flambe and shit. Let's see. Oh, it was smoky. Firefighters had to cut off the alarms. Everyone was okay. It was just interesting experience, yeah. Yeah, I also deal with that at my job a lot. Like, fire alarms just fucking... Once one of them goes off... Uh... Not all of them goes off, but as if one of them goes off, instantly got to deal with firefighters and shit. And most of the time, it's just like false, uh, like you know, just a false alarm. I'm just gonna sneak over here, run over here, save my game. I made it pretty far. Oh, hold up. Don't mind me. Camera password required. Fuck your password. Here's what I think about it. Cleopatra? Okay. Uh, you messed it up. Is it because all of them aren't in there? Gotta get to the bathroom, right? She's in the bathroom, though. Hmm. Hey, hold it! Yep. <laughs> I just want to check. Oh, wait. What? Wait, is using trance instantly just getting caught? Oh, shit. You're not making this easy, game. Let me just test that out. Let me like really test that out. Like just hard test it out. I'm just gonna walk in, transfer, and then fucking see what happens. Where the fuck you at, girl? She's in the kitchen. Alright, saved it. Haven't failed it yet. Hey, who's there? No one's here. You saw nothing. Jesus, fuck.
Oh, wrong button. Character sheet. I have 18 points. Dominate. Suffer a fatal fit. Okay, never mind. Shit. <laughs> I just want to, like, you know, get them to stop in their tracks for a bit. Are you guys, like, sitting in the living room? Or did she go back in the kitchen? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No, I'm stuck. What am I stuck against? How does this dumbass not see me yet? <laughs> huh? Huh? No. You go back in that bathroom. Haven't failed yet. All right. Huh? Hey, who's there? No one. <laughs> Haven't failed yet. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Can I not? Can I not? Come on. Do I got Pilgrim reported that they witnessed blood coming from no less than six statues at around sunset and that the courtyard Let me at the fucking sadness. computer, damn it. Have been quick to point out that this phenomena has been debunked and I don't want to stand up. It makes me more viewable. Freak sandstorm activity is thought to be responsible for the destruction of two Navy fighter jets. The jets were returning from a patrol over the Persian Gulf when they disappeared off of radars. A transcript of a final radio exchange between the pilots mentioned wind conditions picking up and skies becoming so thick with sand that the sun was being blocked. Shortly after this exchange, there was a garbled sh Save it. ...shout by the co-pilot, and finally, radio silence. Military officials have dispatched several units to the area to search for the crew and the missing aircraft. The names of the pilots are being withheld until their status... I haven't failed it yet. Fuck off. Ha ha! You'll never catch the likes of Chad Wellington. You've been Wellingtoned. Perfect. Didn't mess it up, not a one time. That was difficult. Good thing the game isn't as uh, polished as one might expect. Alright. Gonna head down here and just see if I can find somebody to just grab their neck at, you know what I mean? Just get them. This guy, are you still... You still, like, near death or something? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what? Humanity was meant to be lost. No one's gonna miss that guy. <laughs> I'm always near death. No one's ever gonna miss that guy. Need to just find... I just want to find, like, one person I can just get some blood off of. Oh, well, whatever. Let's see. Return and report her... Okay, return and report progress. All right, well, I'm not going to do that just yet. Guess we're heading to Santa Monica next. Oh, 
Hop in. Hop in. What if you called the taxi, and then dude just rolled up and he went, Hop in. Now forget not even call- forget even calling the taxi. What if a taxi just rolled up to you and said, Lovely Hop evening. in. <laughs> you just look at that guy and you'd be like, no, no I won't, I don't think I'll do that. <laughs> don't trust it. That's how people get murdered. Megahertz. Here we are. Good thing I saved like crazy. <coughs> Alright. It's going down in here. I don't have to sneak around, do I? Guess I have to sneak around. Probably some security guards lurking around here. I don't know what that does, but I did it. Difficulty of eight. Eh, eh. Let me in. There we go. It's a tight little squeeze, but I can get on through. does say it's a combat zone. And I definitely do hear some footsteps. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm running around low on blood. What is this? Blue blood. I got nine of that? Drink that shit up, baby. Wait, why am I trying to buff me up? Still failed. God damn it. Oh no. What is my. Wait, am I wearing the fucking armor? What, uh. F3. Take that shit off. <laughs> Still failed. What the fuck? What is my lock picking? At seven. And that's with the buff. Okay. Uh what do I need for lock picking? Dexterity and securities. Which one? Six and dexterity would be Well damn it, I can't even see that. I gotta wait for the buff to wear off to see how much the points will cost. In the meantime, I'm just gonna sip on my Capri Suns over here. It's... it's red flavored. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor? Purple flavor? Come on, blood buff. There we go. This one's eight. Okay, well, I'm just gonna dump it in security then. And then I'm gonna buff myself up. Hey, we did it. God damn it. <laughs> what? I'm an idiot. That's great. You know what? That's amazing. This is where I had to go. That was wonderful. Did I really just put that in wrong? I'm an idiot. God damn it. I'm not good at the typing. You know what I need to do? I need to buy Typing of the Dead and just play that. Play that for like hours. Password required. I don't remember what the password is. Gil Bates. I remember now. All right, and then we just gotta run that damn thing. Oh, 
I'll email you. Cool. Why is it a combat zone? Well, I guess... No, why is it a combat zone? <laughs> if no one's here. But I did hear footsteps. They weren't mine, because I wasn't moving when it happened. I'm just gonna head up here. I think I still have access to this apartment, right? Like... Oops, wrong button. Am I still doing the megahertz thing? No. <laughs> I just finished it. <coughs> I just finished it. I just gotta check on my email. Oh, wow. I guess this isn't... Oh, huh. I guess it's not my apartment no more. I thought, like, I would come up here and still have access to the computer, but I guess not. What I want to know, though, is can I really find the tape that that person told me to look for? And if so, how do I go about that? Because that's not like an official... It's not put in my quest line, you know? My quest log. I'm going to head down to it while I'm here. I'm gonna head to Kilpatrick. Top off on some blood. That's always a good spot to go to, right? He can't stop me. Deb's back and she's got a fresh cup of coffee. Hey Kilpatrick. Hey there. I was hoping you'd stop back by. I got word about Muddy Mike. Seems he was a victim of that serial killer fella. Crazy, huh? Anyway, you can stop looking for him, if in your work. Man, that's crazy, dog. Thanks, dude. Come here, give me a hug. And what have you been up to tonight, caller? Wink, wink. What's the occasion? All right. Whole lot of crab nibble. Nibbling up that crab. Going somewhere? I am. I am going somewhere. If I wasn't, then I wouldn't have talked to you otherwise. That's usually why people talk to taxi drivers. You know, sometimes I have to question... How are taxi drivers still around? <laughs> I guess, like, they operate the best in, like, big cities. Like Chicago and New York. And San Fran and stuff like that. Where calling an Uber just isn't really worth it. Did that... What the fuck? <laughs> I was gonna say, did that rat just kick over that barrel? And then another one came and just... Oh, he's going for the barrel again. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Come on, dude. I dare you. We got a fucking master splinter over here. Those the Hollywood rats. And would you believe that the New York rats are even stronger? They can chuck hold buildings. It's all that pizza they be eating. All right. It's this one? Yes. Uh, no. Where the fuck is the door? Here we go. It's like a slide.
This is a lot of work just to get to the Nosferatu. It's a lot of work. Where the hell are you? Uh, what's your face? This your room? I did the tawny thing for you. <laughs> did you see the papers? She killed herself. Whoa! Can you believe it? After the story hit the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin. It could have been <coughs> I didn't expect that to happen. Try to be thorough. Now cough up the dough. You damn right I did. Thanks. I guess you didn't learn your lesson that Gary wanted to teach you, you know? That's how I'm gonna go out. <laughs> bottle of Valium in fifth gym. Jesus. I'm gonna go out with a bottle of Hennessy and a, and a fifth of liquor. <laughs> That's right. Two different types of liquors. A crack rock and a fifth of liquor. <laughs> Damn, Nosferatu down here munching on rats? I expected it. I wanted to stand on the table. Don't judge me. The legendary double fifth. <laughs> what happens when you take a five and a five and you put it together? That's right, you get a 55. You thought I was going to say 10. Only bitches go for 10. Uh, c come on! Alright, once I check my email, I guess we'll just make a beeline towards Chinatown. Is that Beckett? Howling at the moon? That sly dog. Speaking of sly, at some point we gotta do some Sly Cooper 3. <laughs> at some point, I think when we did Sly Cooper 2, was it like February? So it's been a couple of months. Wait, where am I going? That's not the way out. Yeah, become one with the barrel. Oh, taxi driver. Please take me down to my, uh, my wonderful Where estate. To? Where to? Downtown, baby. Where else? Alright. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh! Need a ride? No, I don't! Get off my back! I'm stuck as hell. Did I ever get the second fetish for Fisha or whatever the fuck? I did, right? I did. I'm pretty sure I did. That was the, that was the book, I think, that I picked up in the, in, like, the snuff house. Maybe I should check out the last round while I'm here. Maybe, like, Damsel or, like, you know, Jack will have something for me.
That's what I do to pass the time in the elevators. I just shake it out. Hey, Heather. How you doing, girl? Just came here to check my emails. You know, doing some business. Sunrise, accepted. Oh, shit. Okay. Next terminal is in the basement of Nocturne Theater. Oh! Okay. So there's more than one. No one can know that you went there. Okay, stay out of sight. No killing. I need you to set up the wireless cam. I'll send you instructions on how to activate it. Once it's in place and activate it, log in to the security folder, password, break a leg, and run the uh, program. Let's see, Nocturne Theater is downtown, just across from the Empire Hotel. Yeah, I know, I've been looking at that thing all day. Sorry, that's the best I can do. Wireless camera, I put the camera down in your mailbox. I had an opera. Okay, cool. And that's just it, right? Alright, cool. That was cool. I did a cool thing. You know what? I'm taking the express elevator. Fuck. Open up. It's faster this way. Eh. G get down. Get down with your bad self. right across from the apartment right there so how do I get inside excuse me sir hmm maybe through like a sewer entrance or something oh there's a back way over here Oh, look at this. Just a big-ass entryway. Oh, never mind. I don't think so. So you don't think so, but I think not. go about getting in there. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna try the underground. Is there no, like, fucking sewer grate around here that I can just walk up in? Are you gonna head out? Alright. Take care. Thanks for stopping. Bye. I'm just gonna be here for the next five hours. <laughs> Shit. Alright, well, how the fuck... Maybe I can talk to someone? Where's the nearest sewer grate? I thought there would be one over here. And a lot of you people like walking down this fucking alleyway. It's not safe, guys. No, I beg your pardon. No, There's a no bunch way. of you over here. Jesus.
Where the fuck is a sewer grate? Excuse me, hooker. Hey, baby. Looking for a date? No, not really. Thought maybe I can ask her, like, hey, you know any, like, passageways or anything like that? Where the fuck? Where's the sewers? <laughs> Where's the sewer entrance? All these bloodstains are still over here. Ooh, a gun. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Point B. I am here. Where is the number three? Oh. Wait, number three is access point B? Ha-ha! Huzzah, for I have made it inside. You know, you would expect of Nosferatu to know that the way in would be through the sewers, since, you know, that's where they fucking live. You're just gonna keep walking this way? You're not gonna turn at all? You're just gonna keep heading straight? Alright, cool. Uh, uh, no. No killing, he said. Because killing is wrong. It's bad. Shut up. Did I fail? <laughs> nope, not yet. It's wrong. It's bad. You can't do it. This is a nice ass theater. I like it. <gasps> mm! I seem to have done a bit of a oopsies. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What is wrong with me today? I, uh, I didn't pick up the camera. <laughs> Oops. Can I not move this out of my way? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Close the fucking door. I'll be back. You haven't seen the last of Chad Wellington. Hmm. The most dumbest thing I could have possibly done. Stupid. Stupid. Fucking moron. Let me through. Let me in. Let me in there. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I was so... I was so busy... Just like... 
I don't know what the fuck happened. I guess I just got so excited that I went down, that I went down the vents, that I just completely ran past my mailbox. What a stupid fucking thing to do. Jesus. Give me that fucking camera. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go put the camera in there. <coughs> Jesus. All right. Now, I gotta say, for a sewer system, it looks pretty clean in here. It doesn't bother me. It looks cleaner than one might expect. You guys make some really loud ass footsteps. Footsteps? Yeah, footsteps. Why do I feel like that's not the right word to say? There we go. Now we just gotta make our way to the computer room. Shouldn't be too difficult. Eh. I'm just gonna have you. I'm just gonna have you sit right there. Oh, my legs! I guess this is a nice little hiding spot. Just to wait for him to come on by. Walk on through. Yeah, I guess not. Alright. Check those emails, baby. Password. I don't know. Nose. Spotlight. Did you leave the broken spotlight up on the railing? Someone will trip over it and break their neck. Put it into the workshop as soon as possible. I will not stow that away for you. Skip That's that's who wrote the letter. All right, well that's cool. Camera. What? Oh, net cam. Camera detected. It is enabled. Cool. Password is required. I don't know. Break a leg. Cool. Think I'm gonna remember all these passwords? Absolutely not. Nice. Your regular James Bond. Check your email soon. I'll be in touch. Alright, well, now does it matter if I can run out without being seen? Hmm. 
Wait, what's in this room? Oh, nothing important. Okay. Nope. 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 Set uploaded. Oh. I was hoping I can just, you know, just do it. <laughs> I was hoping the game wasn't built to the point where it would track me after doing it, but I guess it was. Guess I gotta do it the right way. Oh, fuck. Turn that corner, you'll be sorry. You'll be sorry! I warned you. You didn't listen to me. It's your fault. You did this to yourself. I'm out of here! See you suckers later. That's bound to give somebody motion sickness. <laughs> All right. Time to head back to the apartments. Get the next email. Do some sneaking. Is anyone here? <sighs> if anybody asks what happened in the alleyway, just say, hey man, I was getting sucked on by a guy. And then they will not question you. What do you think happened in the other way? Some guy was sucking me off. It's a normal thing. Heather, why do you look like you have something important to say? Master? Okay, never mind. Bye, Heather. Nice to see that you're doing well. Put some TV on for you. Throughout its history, one pilgrim reported that they witnessed blood coming from no less than six statues at around sunset, and that the courtyard felt full of sadness. Skeptics have been quick to point out that this phenomena has been debunked, and witnesses are no more credible than those that report UFOs. What? Freak sandstorm activity is thought to be responsible for the destruction of two Navy fighter jets. The jets were... I didn't fail. Returning from a patrol Son of a bitch. Gulf ...when they disappeared off of radars. A transcript of a final radio... Let me just... Let me just double check something. I'm just gonna quick save here, you know? Just do the old, uh, the old razzle dazzle. Was my save point before I activated the camera? Oh, it was in this fucking room. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with me tonight? Uh, this dude sounds super close to me, by the way. Oh, wrong button. Password is break a leg, but I'm too lazy to type that in, so you do it for me. Video game. Good job! Amazing. And just because I'm nosy. 
I'm gonna read your email. Uh, what was it? Nose. Cool. Wait, I didn't want it, did I? Fuck. I'm not good at the typing. Very terrible indeed. I have to look down at what the hell I'm doing. Did I type that incorrectly? I did. There we go. Now I'm gonna save it. Such a fucking idiot tonight. There we go. <laughs> all I wanted to do was head to Chinatown. That's all I wanted to do. Now I'm out here doing sneaking missions. Get in there. Alright, now to the apartments. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am going the right way. Cool. A former convict that was recently released for good behavior was found butchered, similarly to the other victims of the serial killer. Police believe there may be a connection between Milton's right. prison past and the slasher. We'll have a full report on this story later tonight. Simon Milligan. Not a lot of time right now. Got to make this quick. Metalhead Industries in Hollywood warehouse operation key is in your mailbox. Set up the hub terminal in its operations back of the warehouse. Wait, what? Friends and family of the crew started to worry when they okay. return from a night of Top of some stairs, probably locked electric uh, electronically for the problem they got. Okay. They got tight security in there, so be careful. When have I never been careful? Mistaken identity may have led to a murder outside the ass pole, where an unidentified man drove a wooden stake into an exiting patron outside the popular Hollywood club. The victim bore a resemblance to Ash Rivers, the owner of the ass pole, and investigators are spent. There we go. Access card. Where's the camera? You said there's gonna be a camera in here. You lied to me. Liar. Hmm. 
All right, well, I guess there's no camera. To Hollywood. Off we go. To the land of the most fakest people you'll ever know. Some may say that that would be either New York or New Jersey, but no, it's Hollywood. Hop in. Hop in. Sure, why not? All right. Now, where are we going? We're going over here. Security's tight. So I would just walk on through the front door. Save my game. All right. Did he say no killing? Can I kill people? Oh, don't kill anyone. Okay. Damn it. Oh, shit. Don't you huh me? You ain't seen shit. Alright, so keep it to yourself. Password, I don't know. Cod piece, really? Okay, frat boy. Door unlocked, rock on. No cameras in here. Password is required. Uh oh. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, did it go? <laughs> I was like, did it go through? I'm sorry, head safe and net secure. Oh, net security. Oh, wait. I don't need to go into the safe first before I do this. Password required. Bang your mom. Bang your head. I thought I was going to say bang your mom. I really did. What's in that safe, though? Um, what is my hacking at six? I have twenty points. Computer and wits. That would be nine, and that would be. 12. Yikes. Hmm. Damn it. 
I want what's in there. <coughs> and blood buff doesn't improve my hacking, so... Shit. Man, that sucks. I'm gonna have to come back for this. I mean, I can come back for it after I, uh... After I do the quest. And murder everyone inside. Started jumping like a lunatic. Let me through. Huh? Ain't no huh. You saw nothing. Aha. Back to downtown. Going somewhere? I am. Wish my goddamn, uh, whatchamacallit, my apartment wasn't so fucking far away. Wish my character had a phone so we can just use emails through that, you know? Instead of having to walk all the way to my apartment every goddamn time. Oh, Heather, where did you go? This is the big one. Kamikami Zen. Kamikaze Zen. Alright, where the fuck is this? In Chinatown? Yeah, it's in Chinatown. Alright. Heavy duty security system. Recon's coming. Uh, once you're in, find the server room and activate the hub. One more thing. They have a vault where they keep software. Take something, put them off the scent. Alright. This turns messy, it's your ass. Key in front of the door, his mailbox. Alright. Wait, what? On your own to find the server room in the vault. Jesus fuck, dude. Sorry, I was kind of reading that one to myself. <laughs> Gets a little hard to fucking read those emails because all the letters are scrunched together. Oh, hey, Heather. Heather. Hi, Heather. Master? I need some blood from you. Thanks, Heather. Sorry. I was just really in dire need. You know, I gotta look out for number one. And that's me. That's me, baby! Like they say, there's no I in team, but there is one in I'm by myself on this. Maybe I can find some money in the alleyway. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Is there anybody down this alleyway? Come on, you know you want it. Damn it. I can't... I can't get anything from the homeless. Their blood is so vile. Well, at least we get to go to Chinatown. Where to? We're heading to Chinatown, baby. Won't you take me to Chinatown? Won't you take me to Chinatown? All right. Remember the first time I came to Chinatown, they just started busting. Everybody starts shooting at me for no fucking reason. He's really depressing looking. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Why isn't my blood going up? Oh, there it is. Alright. Why the fuck is there an owl out here in the city? Jesus. <coughs> Alright. Let's explore Chinatown, baby. What kind of weird, funky shit we gonna see in here? I'm in the mood for some Peking duck. To be fair, recently, I'm not sure if I talked about this before, but recently I did actually cook a duck. They are... They are very different from cooking turkey and chicken. The skin is tougher, and the muscles are... are, you know, stronger. Man, that's great. Get the hell out of my way. The Lotus Blossom. What the hell am I supposed to be doing for Gary? He said the Chinatown disappear. He also told you your first stop should be to talk to Ming Xiao at the Golden Temple. All right, well, he says my first stop. I should speak to him. Speak to Ming Xiao. So I don't get, so my ass doesn't get Ming Zhao, if you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of nice music. I like it. Is the map? Where is the temple? Temple of Golden Virtue, Golden Oceans. Alright, well, I guess it's the Temple of Golden Virtue, which would just be straight up ahead, right? That's where we're heading? Golden Temple? Alright, I want to point out, this game was made in 2004. Anything racist happens ain't on me. Oh, this is... This reminds me of a 007 Nightfire. Are you me, Zhao? Welcome, Kindred. And thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? I mean, can I get you anything? You look like your, uh, look like your face is slowly falling off. <laughs> All right. I thought you should know. I killed one of your spies in Santa Monica. I don't think I should say that out loud. <laughs> no, no tea, thank you. Hmm. You know what? I feel like respect is in order. Thought I should let you know I killed one of your spies. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of hesitant to say that. 
I'm not sure if it would come off as a as a threat. I'm not trying to threaten her. I'm just trying to be respectful, you know? Eh, let's see what happens. Ah, yes. I am aware that you dispatched one of our operatives. It is of little consequence. Funny. And a few more questions for you. What can I help you with? Tell me about your people. We are called the Kuei Jin. Though you may know us as Eastern Vampires. It is a grave misnomer, I can assure you. Okay. Are you the leader of the Kuei Jin? In a sense, yes. You may think of me as the Baron of Chinatown, to borrow from your course, Cainite language. Okay. Are you a descendant of Cain? <laughs> no. We are not simply some exotic Cainite bloodline. Hmm. But you are a vampire. <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. I see. Okay. The second breath. Please explain. The second breath, our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. Hmm. No, I get it. You're angels and we're just lowly bloodsuckers. Oh no, dear kindred. You misunderstand me. I mean no disrespect. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Yo, disrespect this. See ya. <laughs> ah, there you go. So as a mortal, you choose to become supernatural. I guess that would be the best course of action. No, we do not choose, but events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. So why are some chosen? The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it even if it takes eternity. Oh, so you're all just fucking Lassie. <laughs> Ripped right out of fucking Final Fantasy. Alright. Mm. Sounds as much as a curse as the embrace. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt, as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. So it's more of a quest of enlightenment, I guess. Hmm. Alright. Speaking of legends, have you heard of the Archarn sarcophagus? I believe you have. Of course. The entire city is alight with news of its arrival and speculation about one of your ancient vampire grandfathers and his evil apocalyptic plot. Hmm. I take it that you don't believe in that? Kuei Jin do not share your history, nor do we share in your false prophecies. Huh. Yeah, it all seems to be rather silly. It all serves to distract the kindred. Such a distasteful existence you live, skulking in the shadows, fighting for scraps and fearing the return of your fictitious fathers, completely oblivious to your true purpose. Hmm. Do you know about the true history of the kindred? No, I do not. But with my help, you might find the path you were meant for. Instead, you stumble through the afterlife, a meaty remnant still clinging to the mortal rib. Hmm. All right. Do you know where the sarcophagus is? We seek it, of course. I have two of my best agents looking. It could be a powerful bargaining tool. Hmm.
You're rather forthcoming with all this knowledge. You're suspicious. And who are these agents? Let me just say that I do not encourage you to seek the Ankaran sarcophagus. I got a few more questions. What can I help you with? I'm looking for a missing Nosferatu. So, the great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. Do you have any idea where he might be? I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Who the fuck is Wong Ho? Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon restaurant. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. Hmm. Well then I'll head to the Red Dragon. I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin domain. For now. May you find your path, kindred. Thank you. She's very forthcoming. Either she doesn't feel threatened, which she shouldn't. Or, you know, or she's just uh, <coughs> very respectful. What the fuck is going on over there? Um, damn it. I didn't save the game that time. Hmm. I wonder what the hell that was about. I'll check the Lotus. Oh, it's locked. Oh well. Did I... Did I grab the key? Mm. You gotta get another dumb thing I did. Is that the same girl? Oh no, it's different. <laughs> it's a different girl. Need a ride? Yes, I do. Head back downtown. I gotta go pick up a key. Keep forgetting to pick up the damn key. What a dumbass. <laughs> what a dumbass I am. I said it I said it at the beginning of the stream. You know? I was like, hey man, I feel very relaxed tonight. Maybe that's why I'm making all these mistakes. Now we're back in Chinatown with our key. Let's see what we can do while we're here. Oh, what's this? Is this the Red Dragon? Well, yep. I wonder what gives it away. Is it the Red Dragons? 
And I guess this is where, uh, where I would start, uh, putting my, um, start stealthing around, you know? Hello, sir. Hi. Welcome to Sang's Herbal Remedies. I am Sang. How may I assist you? You don't seem like the type to sell herbal, re uh, herbal, I uh, got it. You don't pronounce the H. All right. You don't seem like the type to be selling herbal remedies. Selling remedies is honest work. I came to America after discharge from Chinese um, uh, herbal remedies forces to help aging parents with stores. What the fuck? <laughs> Definitely, I am now American citizen. God bless the allegiance flag. All right. Come on, I know you're in the military, dog. <coughs> you're a terrible spy. You know anything about some guns? Chinese invented gunpowder. Yes, I know guns. You got any? Then why are you holding out on me, buddy? Hold on, please. These are good remedies for many problems. No credit cards. That was cool as fuck. All right. Well, let's see what you got. Man, you run in a shop, but you got fucking spider webs up there and shit. The hell's your problem? Oh, look at this. Alright. This is set heavy leather clothing. It's a rating of three, but hinders movement, resulting in a penalty of one dexterity. Some ex okay. And this is a rating of what? Two? I mean, this looks pretty tight. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. How much is it? 300? Motherfucker, I'm rich. But don't worry, I got some shit to sell you. I'll sell you this knife. You can have that. I don't think I can sell you my clothing. Yeah, can't really sell that. No, I actually don't have anything. So, Oh wait, no I do. Hold up. We have this silver ring. Check it. Bam, got some morphine bottles. Got two of these bad boys. Also, just got some random prescription bottles. I got this watch. Look at that. I got an autographs photo of VV. It sells for 400 bucks. But you know what? That's for my own private collection. So you can't have that. Ledgers. Why would I sell any of that? These are mine. Man, this really sells for a lot. Shit. <laughs> you can't have that, though. That's mine. Got some guns. Let's see. This one has 14, 16. Well, you can have this bad boy right here. Sells for 11 bucks. America, isn't it beautiful? Buy guns for $11. <laughs> Two hundred and twenty-two. Jesus, fuck. All right. Well, what do you have for me? You have a sword, a katana, thirty damage, twelve. Okay, hold up. And the one I got, the sledgehammer, is what thirty-three. Oh, it's still pretty. It's still stronger. But I'm assuming it's less, you know, it's not as fast. Hmm. Oh, what the hell is this? Heart of Elysia. Or Eliza. My bad. I, I don't know why I said Elysia. Eliza. Appears to have a liquid core. The stone itself is milky, translucent, rock solid. And unlike anything you've seen, possesses... Heart of Eliza. Ooh, gives you a melee bonus. And the Colt Anaconda. It's a big ass magnum. <laughs> Alright. And what the fuck is this? Fey Charm. Ooh. Plus one to dexterity. So it would cancel out what I got on my, uh, Damn, you got some real good shit in here, dog. Can I haggle you? Why are shit so expensive? Welcome back. Hmm.
I had a question. Let's see. Do you know who Wong Ho is? Yes. Anything specific I should know about the guy? Yes. If you go to his restaurant on Tuesday after six o'clock, if you ask nicely, they make you hot pot bean curd. Delicious. That seems, uh, huh. I'm actually interested in that. Mm. I like hot pot. All right, I'm looking for a missing person named Barbarous. Have you seen them? No, I do not. Maybe you should ask Wong Ho at Red Dragon. He know many people. Okay. All right, I'll do that. Another question. Uh, let me see the weapons. Shit, dude. <laughs> Listen, I'm rich, but I'm not that rich. God damn. Well, this is for melee feet. 400. 3. Oh, you're gonna make me so broke. And this sells for what, 2? I'm just holding on to these guns because I know I got bullets for them. And sometimes having a gun helps out. I'll come back for that charm, though. I will come back for that charm. You can bet your sweet ass on that. Well, thank you. You've been a lot of help. What's in here? Is this just a exit? Something broke. It wasn't me. I didn't break anything. Huh. That's a nice shot. And I guess this is the uh, other way into it, right? The back alley? It's up here. I guess this is just for Nosferatu shit. Sneaking around over here. The hell is this place? Lovely evening. Yeah, lovely evening we're having, dude. Everything is fucking locked. Why the fuck is everything locked? Golden Ocean Fish Market. This is locked too. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll head to the Red Dragon then. I really got no other place to go. Lovely evening. You didn't see nothing. I didn't do nothing wrong. Oh. Ah! You'll never find me. Not in the dumpster. 
Never mind, I can't hide in the dumpster. Huzzah! You fucking dumb morons. Which one of you motherfuckers snitched on me? Huh? It's my blood. Failed anyway, it's difficulty of 10. Jesus. Just went in a big circle, didn't I? Yeah, I definitely did. Alright. Let's head over. Oh, what's this over here? Oh. Just nines again. Not nines, what am I saying? Uh, Ash. That's his name. Let's head over to the Red Dragon! Talk to Wang Ho. Hello, ma'am. Um, I'm sorry. Dinner service stopped a little while ago. But our lounge is still open. Oh. Well, I'm here to see Wang Ho. Ming Zhao sent me. I'll get the elevator. Why, thank you. Second floor, have a good night. Thank you. Ooh, that's lovely. The little secret elevator. Hey. Little secret hidey hole you got here. Did I not? Hello? Hey, baby. You know, I'm still at work. I don't know. Why would I want to rush home right away? Yeah? I'll do like that. <laughs> what else? With a what? Oh, you're in the kitchen. Yeah, they were on sale, so I bought some. You do too, like zucchini. What the fuck kind of conversation was I listening in on? Hello? Did she said second room on the left or some shit? What the fuck? Where are you? Hello? What? Am I being set up? The hell's going on in here? Long Ho, where the hell are you? Let me save my game before I start getting decapitated over some shit that I didn't know what that was going down, you know? Long Ho! Sir! Do I take a seat or some shit? Um, is this not like a, it's not like a doorway over here? Oh, wait, here we go. There you are. They took her. They took her. What happened, ma'am? Kiki. My daughter. No, her. not Kiki. Said, In her delivery service. With for the last time. Oh shit. 
All right. Might not be the best time, but Ming Zhao sent me to talk with you. Ming Zhao? Oh, of course. Please forgive me, but as you can see, I am in a most terrible situation. I am Wang Ho, owner of the Red Dragon. Again, I apologize for my inconsiderate behavior. No, 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 it's fine. No problem, man. Hey, what's going on, dude? The Tong. A local street gang here in Chinatown just broke into my restaurant, restaurant and kidnapped my daughter at gunpoint. The Tong go more bold every day, and now they have my Kiki. Well, we can't let her delivery so service go under, so what can I do? That makes Daddy angry. <laughs> that makes Daddy angry. You know where she is? I'll go get her. No. The Tong have many... Uh, wait. Please excuse me a moment. Hello. Zhao. Huh? Yes. How did you... Of course. I see. Thank you, my friend. Your debt has been repaid a thousand times over. Yes. Of course. Goodbye. I didn't sound like Tong. That was... Someone who owed me an old debt. It has been repaid. I know where the Tong are keeping my daughter. Good. You tell me where to go, and I'll slaughter them. Tell me, and someone better call the coroner. Kiki is being held at the Lotus Blossom. Ooh, I want to go there. A massage parlor here in Chinatown. So it's a fucking massage parlor. If you bring her back to me, I will help you in any way that I can. Of course, I'll bring her back safely. Thank you. I shall wait here until you return. Strike fast. The Tong will not be expecting anyone so soon. Good luck, my friend. I'll see you soon, buddy. Listen, I'm down here to do it for money, but uh-uh. You can't be kidnapping daughters like that. It's not happening on my watch. Especially when said daughter has such a wonderful delivery service. You selling shit down here? Uh, yes. Hey, who wants a body massage? <laughs> More like, yes, yes, yes. Let's role play. You be the Skakerick Village girl, and I'll be the very sexy vampire. This is the most scumbag shit I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, let me just pick up some protection. A couple of cans of pepper spray should do the trick. I'm sorry. I'll go away. Why are you crouching like that? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to offend you. I'll be going now. Was there something else? Just passing on through. Why you seem so pissed off? Jesus. Now. You motherfuckers listen up here. Homeboy Wang Ho has sent me on an errand. And I intend to get it done. Alright. Oh wait, my bad. I didn't even equip it, did I? I just clicked on it like a moron. There we go. There we go. I'm running here like some Neo type shit. Hello. Can I speak to you? I would like to speak to you. I don't want you getting hurt. You know, I'm not a monster.
Alright, well, you'll stay here. Hello there, guys. Ugh! So nasty! <laughs> oh, I think I just found my favorite weapon. Failed. Check of 10. God damn it. Sucks that my dexterity's down, you know? It's down by. Oh shit. It's down by a lot. Fuck. Whatever. I'll clear it out. And then I'll start. You know what? I can just take it off for like a quick second, right? Alright. And now I'm at what? I'm at five for lock picking? Why is my lock picking so low? Hmm. Security and uh, dexterity. Eight and nine. Still wouldn't give me enough. Hmm. Guess I'm just gonna have to find a key. Just gonna have to find myself a good old key. Where the fuck is everyone? I can't grab none of this stuff? Let me throw! Jesus. Listen ma'am, don't worry about me. I'm just here to take care of some business, okay? I'm half expecting them to start pulling out guns. Son of a bitch. Maybe you should think twice before you kidnap someone's daughter, huh? There's a bathroom in here. It's locked. Why is it locked? It's locked because one of these has a glory hole in it. Uh, no. What the fuck? You gotta be kidding me. Really, guys? Come on, man. Out here watching people? Is this where I would get one of those tapes? Let me actually check while I'm in here. Because I'm still... Still supposed to be looking like for tapes or some shit. Huh. Guess it's just, uh. Oh, that makes it even worse. <laughs> no, I don't speak English. Oh, and there's little filthy hole people watching them getting sexed on. You guys are scumbags. 
What's this on the ground? Money envelope. Thank you. Let me just run back in the other rooms and thoroughly check them out. Just in case. Maybe I'll find like a Kama Sutra on the floor and learn how to sex people up. Oh, this is where I got the money envelope. Can't pick that up. I love how there's just a chair in here. Or when you get tired and you take a break. Can't grab the other key. Hello, guys. Oh, hey, Kiki. Let me just want to make sure I thin out the area before we get you out of here. Oh. Oh, there's a basement. Well, hello there. Just down here, resting up by yourself. I can't open any of these? Oh, I can. this oh come on it's a chest I can't open any of these wait what oh and that's the way out okay ah getting stuck on these corners and shit All right, Kiki, where the hell are you? Oh, wait, I gotta go upstairs. Hey there, girl. You son of a bitch! I can't... I can't <coughs> breathe in here! Would have been so much better if the level design didn't develop into shitty mats where you... Oh. Where you hand the enemies, of course. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's why I'm letting you out. What? Aren't you a little tall for a tongue? I'm not sure if that's vague racism. It probably is. Tall. You know, like, not short. Jesus. All you thugs are the same. Stupid, stupid, and stupid. Listen, Kiki. I know you're mad. I'm not a thug. You Kiki? Yeah, I'm Kiki. Who the hell are you? The Tong Welcoming Committee? I'm here because your dad sent me. Oh, I'm so impressed. What? Like you want me to thank you or something? In your dreams, asshole. Yeah, I mean, I expect a little bit of a thank you. Just a little bit. A little bit of a thanks for letting me out. I don't expect you to worship me. Alright. Let's just get the hell That's out of here. That's an original idea. Man, dad must really be hurting for good help. Lead the way, hero. I have half a mind to just leave your ass here. But I'm not a scumbag. So let's go. You following? We're leaving. Thanks for the company. Where the hell is she? She she following me? Did I leave her behind? You have rescued Kiki! Though you feel like killing her instead. 
I guess she ran on back home, huh? Alright, well. You're welcome, bitch. The things I do. Where's the elevator? Was there something else? Yes, there's something else. Why are you an asshole to me, too? Second floor, have a good night. I'm mashing the button. Hey, Get Andrea. up there. Did you hear about Joe and... Yes, he is! Yes, he is! Yes, he is! I know! I was just on the phone with Andrea and I was all... No, he's not! Yes, he is! What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Hey, man, I got your daughter. Ah, welcome, my friend. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Not really. You have returned to me my greatest treasure. Kiki told me how you rescued her. You are a man of great courage and honor. Thank you. All right. You ever find out why the Tong took her? No. I have not been able to find out why they took Kiki. But I fear that it goes much deeper than the Tong. What do you mean? For a long time, I have been trying to clean up Chinatown. It was a difficult job, but the community came together, and we started to take back our streets from criminals like the Tong. Businesses reopened. Families moved back into their homes. All right, so what happened? The Tong looked stronger than ever, even though I've never seen the Tong before, so how would I know if they looked stronger than ever? Yes. I thought that the Tong were almost gone, but then something happened. Their numbers began to grow, and suddenly they had a lot of money to buy weapons. With them followed the drugs and the violence. It is almost worse now than before. All right, someone must be pulling the strings. I do not know, but there is a change in the air. I meditate, but my spirit is restless. The words of the I Ching are dark and unclear. Everything seemed to change as soon as... As soon as the Fire Nation attacked? I am sorry. I have said too much. Fine. I need your help. Of course. What can I help you with? I'm looking for someone. He's gone missing here in Chinatown. Who is this person? Goes by the name of Barbaros. He's a business associate. Hmm. What else can you tell me about him? Hmm. He's a real night owl, kind of pasty, withdrawn. I see. I do not think I could find him for you, but I know someone who could. Yeah? Who? His name is Zhao. He is the man who called me and told me where Kiki was being held. Zhao has many connections. He owns an import-export warehouse in Chinatown. Go and see him there. I will call ahead and tell him to expect you. All right. I got a question about Chinatown, though. What would you like to know? Tell me about the Temple of the Golden Virtue. The Temple of Golden Virtue has been here in Chinatown for a long, long time. Even before I was born. For many years it was old and forgotten. But Ming Zhao bought it and restored it to its former glory. Really? Why would she do that? Ming Zhao holds our culture and our traditions in very high regard. The temple is a symbol of our strength as a people. It brings hope to the community. Have you ever been inside? No. Ming Zhao receives her visitors in an antechamber, but no one is allowed to enter the temple itself. She tells me that it is a holy place and that it needs to be left undisturbed. Hmm. I'm sure it does. She's wise. And I'm sure she can be trusted. Yes, I think so too. Many things she has told me have come to pass. 
I believe she is a holy woman sent to us from the gods to help rebuild our community. Hmm. All right. You got some other questions. Yes. How can I help you? Huh. Still need to talk with Jen. And I hope he has the information you need when you do. You can find him at his warehouse in Chinatown. All right. Me too, see ya. How the fuck does that even correlate to what the... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Me too, see ya. The fuck? <laughs> Gotta wait for it to close. Got me sitting here waiting impatiently. It's a pretty fast elevator, though. Oh. Huh. I found a watch in the bathroom. Bartender! You find got American history test for you? What? One boy ain't even wash his hands. I'm mad at here. Happened to my shot. I ordered another shot. What? What? What happened? I still need to know. Should I check up with the um? Why are you standing out here? Hey, no. Okay. <laughs> I need to know. Should I go check in with the uh, the last round? Do you think they have the white cloud? The hell is this? Ooh, fancy. There is something in this door for everybody. Yeah? Everyone gets what they deserve. Are you the guy who sent me the email? <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Uh-huh. When Len returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way, nor did the man he stole it from. Do you know what happened to Len? He died. I don't know. Dead? Are you Len? Are you Len? No. I don't believe that. Lin was caught. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. Then why did you say everyone has something for them in the store? Okay, hold up. What? All right. Is there a point to this? Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by chance? Eye harvest? The fuck you on about? Lin's body is being kept in the freezer in the back of a local noodle shop I hear. There are people there who want him intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely. What the fuck, if dude? If were to wander in. I gouge hell. A fitting punishment for Lin. Huh. <laughs> That's sick. I'll go get him. I knew you would. 
What other reason to waste words on the ill-fated? What's your story, old man? How rude of me not to introduce myself. Yes, very rude. You may call me Mr. Ox. This is my shop. Do you find it interesting? There are no two like it on the road to hell. Do you just... When, when anyone comes in your shop, do you just automatically give them the spiel? Do you just go, hey man, ever thought about uh, eyeballs? <laughs> Alright, you sell weapons? I sell things many would find cruel, but weapons, no. So you just sell organs like a little creep. Alright, I'm looking for someone real ugly, Snoopy type. Seen anyone like that? No. All right, then I'm out of here, I guess. Just raise your hands in the air like you just don't care. All right, I'm out of here. That was weird. Mr. Ox wants you to harvest Lynn's eyes from his body's being kept in the freezer in the back of a local noodle shop. You think I know where the fucking noodle shop is at? Meow Long Restaurant. Oh, this is the place I go to. To, you know, do some crazy shit. You seem important. Are you a fortune teller? Oh, look who it is! It badass a Chinatown! You want fortune red, Mr. Superhero? Maybe you interested in making some cash? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, look who it is! It's Mr. Badass in Chinatown! Oh, Jesus. Alright. Money. Somebody say money? Yes! Big, big dollar for easy job! Big dollar! All you have to do is make one person disappear, but not like magic show. You understand? All I heard was big dollar. I want big dollar. I like big dollar. Why don't you say the noodle louder so people are next block in here? Yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry, I'm no killer. Wait, what do you mean I'm no killer? What the fuck? No, I want it. That's fine. I find someone else who need a lot of cash. Hmm. Why don't you tell me details? Maybe I'll think about it. You may not believe it, and I don't care, but I used to be... Number one hitman for Chinese Mafia. They call me Ji Wenja, travel agent for Underworld, because I send so many people there. there. Before I retired, I carry out the biggest mission of Korea. Kill visiting Chinese government official. Too big mission for one man, so I have friend Lu Feng assist me. We kill man, but have to hide rewards so no one trace it to us. Lu Feng and I both have key for cash box, so both of us have to open it together many years after hit. But Lu a snake, he kill me once I open box. He say, I kill him. Big liar. So we not speak anymore. But I need money. I want his key. I'm gonna kill the both of you. That's right. I give you 10% of money you kill Lou. 10%? I sure Lou have key on him. You bring me key, I give you money. Everybody happy, except Lou. <laughs> Alright, guess I'll go get that key from Lou. You good kid. I wait here for you. I will. Where can I find him? Lou a big boo sponge. He spent all his time and money trying to perfect art of being drunk off his ass at Red Dragon Lab. Oh, so he's that doing the you bathroom? You smell him before you see him, like weasel he is. All right, good. One key is coming your way. I don't think so, buddy. What the fuck? You heard all that? You have to die now. I'll get you when you least expect it.
guess I'm gonna kill someone and missed I don't want to kill someone inside inside of Wong Ho's restaurant. I like Wong Ho. He's cool. I'm like his daughter. I'm just gonna close this up. Hey man. Hey man, I need you to not piss for like two seconds. I need to talk to you. I gotta talk Bartender. to you. Lu Fang got American history test for you. I gotta talk to you, man. I guess I can only talk to him out here. I think I fucked up his his uh, pathing. Lou. Jesus fuck. Come on, Lou, get your ass out here. Let me tell you something. You come closer so can hear. Let me tell you something. Kids. Kids don't know nothing. Why you say that? Because, because you see them. You, you see them running in the street. They do crime, but not, not, not crime, not organized. Just thugs. Just shoot, bang, and steal. It's just a mess. Not so organized. Hmm, mm, all right. I can see your point. Yeah, see, you see, you, you see? They climb, they not organized. Messy, uh. <laughs> no one can do it no more. Just shoot, bang, bang, whoever. Cop no good. All a mess. Not organized. Not organized indeed. No more. So how should it be done? <laughs> Lu Fang, no. I Lu Fang. Lu Fang, he know. Damn, dog. All right. So you prefer organized. What's uh, wait, come closer. No say too loud. Was hitman. I kill, kill good. Kill good? Lu Fang kill a lot of men. Damn, dog. Why you not hitman no more? Retired. Retired? Happy retirement, Lu Fang. Oh, very no happy. No more work. No more money. Uh. No tell bartender. Oh, don't tell bartender. Okay. All right. How do you pay for your necessities? Got some money, but need more. Got some hidden. Cannot get. Can't get it. Damn, dog. What do you mean? Lock away. Need two key to get. Lu Fang only have one key. Only one key? Shit! Why is the money locked? Lu Fang used to have a partner. Not partner. Friendly. Lu Fang have friend. Ji Wen Jia. Ji Wen Jia, Lu Fang friend. Both kill people for money, for people, for Tong. Uh, good Tong then, not bad Tong now. Good Tong. Not till Tong turned bad. Got it. All right, so what happened? One time, man need killed. Man very hard to kill. Take both Lu Fang and Ji Wen Jia to kill man. Pay a lot of money to kill man. Money go in safe. Lock with two key. One key Lu Fang. One key Ji Wen Jia. Damn, dog. All right. So what happened? Things get uh, how you say weird. Yeah, Lu Fang no think he trusts Ji Wenja. Ji Wenja act funny, strange. Lu Fang think Ji Wenja want to kill him. Ji Wenja get shifty eye. You know, Lu Fang notice. Lu Fang read people very well. Ji Wenja, he up to no good. Up to no good. Fucking making trouble in the neighborhood. So. You can't talk to him. All right. No, we grow apart after that. 
No more friends here. Just a hitman. Stay away from each other. No talk. No talk. All right. So, uh, is he still working? Ji Wen Jia make phony baloney fortune teller booth in marketplace. He no longer hitman. <laughs> Con man, low life. Ji Wen Jia. He keep key on him. Always on lookout for Lu Fang. Damn. All right. Then how are you gonna get the money? Maybe, maybe you can get key from Ji Wen Jia. You kill people. Lu Fang no. Lu Fang can read people very well. Let Lu Fang see you. Yeah, kill people. You kill Ji Wen Jia. No big deal, huh? No big deal, man. All right, but then what's in it for me? I give you money, huh? Money. When Lu Fang get key, pay you twenty percent of hidden money. Lot of money, huh? Just kill Ji Wen Jia. Twenty percent? That's big money. Sure, dog. I'll do it. All right. Go to Ji Wen Jia in marketplace. Uh huh. Key with extreme prejudice. I give you twenty percent, lah, and make this secret. Good hitmen never talk. Never nothing. talk. Nothing. Okay. Bye bye. Shh. I see you around, quiet man. The quiet man. Don't compare me to that shitty video game. The game's terrible. <laughs> the quiet man. <coughs> Listen, I just need you guys to tell me where the fuck the key is. I mean, where the fuck the uh, treasure is. So I can kill you both. I'll take the money myself. The one in front of the gun lives forever. <laughs> True. Hey, dog. Where my key? Where your key? Yo, he offered me twenty percent to kill you. What? You a liar? You bring him key. He go see now. Say what deal? I don't know deal. You not trust you? Chi and Ja, your friend. You know what, dog? I do trust you. It's crazy. But 20%, man. That's a lot. Wait, wait, wait. I give you 30%. You take care of Lou, I give you more money. God, I hate Lou. Big money now turn bigger money? Damn, dog. 30%. I'll be right back. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Lou, where the fuck are you? Stop! Dude, get your fucking prostate examined or some shit. You out here pissing up a storm all the damn time. You never wash your hands. Hey, hello there again, mister. You find that key I was looking for? Dude, Jingwei Jia offered me 30%. Can you believe that shit? 30%? You think Ji Wen Jia can afford to pay 30%? He need money for child bait. Got to buy the comic book and the video game. Ask him about nephew in bathroom, huh? Do world favor. Kill Ji Wen Jia. I give you 40%. I know you piss a lot when you drink. You piss a lot, but you don't. Not like fucking every every five seconds, though. Come on, man. This dude's penis is broken. <laughs> what the fuck you say? Gotta buy a comic book and a video game. Ask him about nephew in the bathroom, huh? What the fuck? Okay. Can't you reconcile? You used to be friends, man. You got so much in common. You both like to kill people. You both want to kill each other. All right, but that sounds good to me. I'll be right back. Right back. 40%. That's crazy. Big money. Whatever. Me like big money. Yo, can you believe this motherfucker? 
Yo, he offered 40. What the hell's that about? 40? Blue evil man. When he was hitman, he killed women, children, pets. I only kill other men. He have no conscience. Okay, okay. I hate Lou so much. I give you 50%. Big money. Man. If Lou won't pay more, he's a dead man. 50? Alright, it's a deal. <laughs> I got him this time. You know, I'm hurting for some cash. <laughs> I just want to see how far this will go. Oh, you just standing there now? Hey, hello there again, mister. You find that key I was looking for? I love how he, like, clicks his teeth towards me. Anyways, bro, listen. I had him on the ropes. But right I was about to put the sword to his neck, he said, hold up. 50%. Huh? Okay. Don't listen to more of Ji Wen Zha Lai. Word like poison to brain. Poison? But he offered me 50, dog. I was gonna do him in. Ji Wen Zha. Slimy like a worm in spaghetti. He pay you in dagger. Make direct deposit to you in the back. Damn, dog. I don't like dagger. I like you. You kill slimy G and Ja doggy kisser, seller of sister underwear. I give you sixty percent. All right, <coughs> seller of sister underwear. Oh, okay. Oh, Yankee, my wanky. What the? I need food. What? <laughs> He's like that dude sells his sister's underwear. What the fuck, man? Jesus, fuck. Alright. Listen, I had Lou on the ropes. About to kill him. Right there. About to end it. Had it had the gun had the gun to his temple. But then he said, wait, 60% dog. He said 60. You gonna give you 60? He crazy man. He spent all the money on plum wine and cheap beer. I don't like cheap I beer. I want to use money for orphans. Orphans. Ah, that's right. I want to give back like Cosmo. money to community. I, yeah, fine. I give you 70. Go get Lou. 70? Man got this 70 just tell me where the fucking just tell me where it's at just tell me where it's at I'll just come and kill both of you I want that money I need it hey hello there again mister you find that key I was looking for Bro, he has appreciated in value. He offered me 70. Ji Wen Jia full of hate and slime. And S lies. And love. You know, bad love. Love for the children. Oh, no. Love for the kids. Oh, no. Sent Lu Fang off of you. Right thing to do. You know, Society. I knew a suspect when he said he was going to go for the orphans. I should have saw through his lies. You're a smart guy, Lu. You're a smart guy. Justice does have a price, 80%. Doing it for the kids. My key. See, I had it. I was about to get it anyways. But then he told me, your orphan idea is bad. Not only that you sell your sister's underwear, but you out here trying to touch on little boys. I don't appreciate that. He offered me 80%. Listen, 
is evil man. Evil. He trick you. Hell, he tried to kill you after you give him key. Damn. Ji Wenja is your friend. I give you 80 same as Lu, but Lu, he deserved to die. Please rid the earth of big, drunken evil. I swear I give you 80. No trick. Evil is bad. Hmm. All right. Evil very bad. Man, let's see. I don't want to I don't want to put I never liked Lou anyways. That might hard lock me, you know? You know what? I never liked him anyways. I'm going to go see what I can do. He said evil. Evil's pretty bad, man. I mean, you can't be more eviler than evil. Evil's evil. He's talking a lot of sense. Hey, hello there again, mister. You find that key I was looking for? He said give me 80% for the key, dog. He tell me you evil. Evil's not good. We can't have evil here. Evil bad. That's it then. Why not, huh? Ji Wen Jia, lazy opium smoker pervert. You can choose. Work with pervert Ji Wen Jia, or work with Lu Fang. Who like you? It give you 80% first. Hmm. If you like me so much, then why not 90%? Hey, no can go higher. Lu Fang, not crazy. I give you most of money. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> You'll go higher if you know it's good for you. Oh, I don't want to threaten him. Can I just take all the money? Jesus. All right. You know, you know, you're right. Actually, let me see what happens. Lu Fang old, still kick your ass and go back, Wai Lo. See you in street, pale face. Whatever, dog. Wait, didn't I? Hey, what just happened to my shot? Uh, something else? You know attention so good? Go do the thing, right? Not interested. My key. Hmm. All right. If I open treasure with Lou, Lou kill me because he's sneaky. What I do? Trust Lou? Ha! Huh? That like trusting booze with Lou. You know he going to drink it, so don't give him opportunity. Fine then, I'll go kill him. All right, so they both offer 80. Now you just pick and choose, right? Save the drunk. I'll be honest. If I had to pick and choose, I was going to choose him anyways. Something else? You know attention so good? Go do the thing, right? If I was going to pick and choose, you know, if there was no option to get to get the money all to myself, I was going to choose Lou anyways. One, he was funnier. And two, and two, uh, whatchamacallit, he's hanging out in Wang Ho's restaurant. Can't be a bad guy. Oh my god, do I want big follows? I want the biggest of follows. My key. 
working on it, dog. Big follows. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't mess with those bots. Don't do that. <laughs> the fucking mess up my whole entire channel or something like that. I can't like. Where are my key? Huh. I can't like stealth kill him. Oh my god, it's a dead body. Totally didn't come from me. Is there a way I actually find it myself? I wonder if he's going to lead me to it. Let me save it. Something else? You know attention so good? Go do the thing, right? I got your key, dog. You make light like decision. For you, Lu Fang, all Chinatown. Kids can play in street again without fear. Ji Wen Jia's head tail come to fitting end. Now you get key? Yes. I would like the money first, though. Hi ya. Two keys together. Feel heavy, heavy with weight of many dollar. Lu Fang gonna get new liver, bulletproof liver, with Lu Fang initial in gold. Meet Lu Fang back here tomorrow, huh? For your cut. Great. See you, dog. I so don't trust you. I so don't trust you. Feel like I'll come back here and I'll get nothing. He's gonna peace out with that money. <laughs> Going somewhere? Yeah, dog. Take me to Santa Monica. He said I'd come back tomorrow, but I don't I don't know how to how to progress time like that, so I'm just gonna Lovely evening. Leave the area and come back. <coughs> Where to? You know, call me crazy, but the guy who says, I'm going to go get me a bulletproof liver, but I'll come back, though. I promise. <laughs> I don't believe it. Where you at, Lou? Something else? You know attention so good? Go do the thing, right? How do I pass time? I guess I just gotta like do a mission or something. Yeah, you gotta do a mission for the next night. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I don't want to do anything, uh... Huh. Body's in the back of a local noodle shop. Let's see if I can find that, because I don't want to... I don't want to move the main story, but I also don't want to do this shit yet. Don't touch me, right? Just in case Lou fucks me over. See if I can find me a noodle shop. Should be on the map, maybe? Oh, ramen shop. There you go. Number four. This is right over here. Oh. The fuck is that noise? Is 
Isn't this the ramen shop? Imports. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm looking at the ramen shop right there. Am I? Am I not? Oh wait, no, I'm right here. What the fuck? That's the freezer over there. Oh. No. 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 has to die tonight. <gasps> All right. That was pretty easy. Talk of me like that. Jesus, here's your eyes. Mm. Yes. They stare ambitiously. Hello, Lin. Do you like it there? These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. I have another task. If it piques your curiosity. Sure, man. You're a fucked up guy. Let's hear it. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? I stole eyeballs and you gave me $150, you fucking cheap piece of shit. Nope, I don't. Tell me. A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor. So that the bad luck can bloom. That's all? Fine. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Oh, well, I know that where that is. Went to Talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> all right. Whatever, see you later, you sick son of a bitch. All I need is my money. See, how much money am I holding on to right now? Got some dollar dollar bills. 600? That's enough for what I want. I'll get it after he pays me. <coughs> Added 5,000. Time for some sleep. All right, thanks for stopping by. It is greatly appreciated. Hope you have a nice night. Got my money, piss man. I'll, I'll wait for you out here.
Money, 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 money. Something else? You know attention so good? Go do the thing, right? Damn it. My money. Welcome back! Hi, dude. I need some stuff. Cool. Give me that charm. It's my charm now. That gives me a plus one of my dexterity. Alright. So we said the parlor. Massage parlor over here. Shouldn't be too hard to do. I guess the guy who's getting the bad luck is the one that's, uh, is the one that's soaking up in the hot springs or whatever. Hey there, guy. Just here to give you some bad luck, that's all. Where's the, um... Uh... Um... Where the fuck is the talisman? Oh, here it is. Hey! Ah! What the hell you think you're doing? <laughs> That's my locker, sucker! Obviously, there's been a misunderstanding. I thought it was mine! Sorry, dog. No misunderstanding. I saw you. What the hell did you put in my locker? You know who I am, huh? You wanna die, sucker? It's nothing. A simple mistake. I'm sorry, dog. Mm -mm. Time to teach you a lesson about respecting people's property. Oh yeah, sucker. You're in for it now. I guess I'm your bad luck then, man. Now wait a second. Wait. Hey, I told you stop. I'm not getting blood on my hands today. I did my part of the job. You are always welcome here. I did your charm thing. Did the seed take root? Yeah, I planted it. Hmm. I suppose this is what we agreed to. Perhaps bad luck will flower in time. Please, take this payment. You think you're slick. You totally wanted me to kill that guy. You are a Mato employee. Perhaps you can work for me again someday. Until then, <coughs> keep up the excellent job. And if you ever meet someone on the six paths with a soul to sell, please recommend my shop. All right, think I'm gonna go. This place is starting to make me uncomfortable, especially when you keep talking to me like that. I had a quest complete. Give me my money, damn it.
Hey there, Lou. Something else? You know attention so good. Go do the thing, right? God damn it. How many quests do I gotta complete? Well, I guess while I'm here, I can uh, start sneaking into this building. Stuff looking like lock picking six, sneaking four, melee seven, bashing two. I mean, not bashing two, bashing three. Um, and I'm holding on to 33, uh, 33, 38 experience. Ooh, there's someone over there. Go away. Good job. Nothing in here. Shit. Of course it's locked. Huh, Guaylo. Hard time limit. God damn it. Shit. Ah, oh God, let me close this. you tonight blah 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 all right wait what was number two come on walk away good All these computers are accessible. It's not going to be good. Because I got to find the server room and the safe.
Okay, well that one's not accessible. Close. All right. Personal. Okay. Manifesto. about email password <coughs> waterloo you freaking noob is this a bunch of fucking like game developers or something Ah, oh, shit. I guess that's what I'm looking for, huh? Dear friend Shinto, can all abide? He spells his last name backwards and uses it for the access code to the bank vault. Uh. So. So O T N I H S. Serious dog. Oh, my fucking God. <coughs> Come on, move. It's a number code. I'm so gonna run out of time. What the hell did I miss? No. Is it in the second one? Oops. Oh, must be one of the other rooms that I just didn't notice.
This one doesn't have a fucking usable computer. Ah, damn it. Four, five, six, seven. I'm so out of time. Just hack the damn thing. Uh, unlock. Vault is unlock. That's great. Attempt of eight is needed. My hacking is at six. Photo finish. <coughs> All right. F9 that baby. Hack the servers for wherever the fuck video game this dude's into. Oh, they're both the same. Okay, cool. Now he wants me to steal from the vault. Honey clip. Is that it? 500 bucks. Just gonna wait for him to pass by. Ice is locked. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. 
hell am I supposed to get out? I know I need blood. You don't gotta tell me twice. There's not a vent in here. How the fuck do I get out? I hope I didn't lock myself in because of the um, time limit. If I did, that's going to be a pain in the ass. I get the hell out of here. Well, I mean, I can't fail it now since it's already passed, so, uh... Oh! Here it is. Really? You gotta be kidding me. Hey there, buddy. Hey! I got the big gun. Fuck, do I get out of here? I mean, I don't need that password no more. See that there's a vent over there, but I don't see one over here. Or passwords. <coughs> Password entered. Just gonna run it again. See what happens. Find the office of the guy named Rob Nestor. I'm logged in there. Okay. Named Rob Nestor. Oh, 
Totally kill the guy. Oh, I thought there was a space in that. I guess not. Why the fuck would you put an exclamation point in it? Rescue. Oh, I put a... Oops, my bad. <laughs> Made it. Sweating a little in there. With your ass and grass. Relax, open the vent door behind you. I didn't know the vent door was electronically locked. I might have killed the guy. Tuck his gun, though. But hey, I did my fucking quest, though. Completed it. It's not logged in as a failure, so I did it good. I did my job. Wow, money. Something else? You know attention so good. Go do the thing, right? I'm gonna kill you, Lao. All right. So what do I have in here? Businessman named Wong Ho. You may have information. He told me to go talk to Zhao. I forgot where the fuck Zhao is. But whatever. I guess that's gonna be it for, uh... For this one. What's my hacking at now? Eight? Cool. Gonna call it a quits for this stream. We've been at it for about... For about three and a half hours. I think it's a good stopping point. Oh, God, I just cracked the shit out of my back. It was a big crack, too. God damn. All right. So, that's going to be it for Vampire the Masquerade today. Well, tonight, anyways. Who knows, later today, if I have time, I might come back and stream it around the afternoon. Afternoon or noontime. Around like 11 or something like that. Usually that's a good spot for me to come back to this. But as of right now, I think we made some okay progress. We didn't really hit the main story that much. We did some side quests here and there, but it was good. I had fun with it. I got a cool-ass katana for it, right? And we got a lot of experience points that I can just throw into some things right now. So that next time we come in, we can just go right at it unarmed. Melee's at seven. <coughs> Lockpicking's at six. Bashing three. I have a lot of defense. At least it seemed like I had a lot of defense. Seduction's at five. I don't like that my seduction is low. It's low in me. It's low in my eyes. Substrifuge. Put that baby to six. <laughs> it's Chad Wellington we're talking about. You gotta be sexy. Everyone has to love him. We have 13 points left. Wits or computers for hacking. Because I just don't like typing in the shit. So 16 or 12. I have enough to get that up to 9. Um, persuasion. It seems that my persuasion has, has not been working as much as it should. And seduction options have been not around as much. As I would like them to be. Intimidate goes with what? Haggle? Intimidate goes with, uh. Intimidate just goes with Intimidate. Huh. <laughs> Brawl is unarmed. Bashing goes with. I really have no use for putting up the rest of these, right? I mean, we've been getting, getting through with that pretty fine. Research, haven't really had anything to research recently. Sneaking, sneaking's at four, somehow. <laughs> Inspection, haven't really needed to use it. I don't know, I guess we can just get our damage up or our defense up. Dexterity, put eight in it. 
It'll go to lock picking and sneaking. Strength acts for 16, and Brawl is axing for 13. I mean, not 13, 6. Uh. So we have 7 left, and Dexterity is axing for what, 8? Firearm, don't really need it. Melee is axing for 6. Yeah. Yeah, I can hit hard. Yeah. Yeah. What's appearance axing for 12, and another subterfuge would be 9. I'll accept those terms. <coughs> Hello there, police officer. With my new sexy powers, let's see if they work. Cause now I'm at, now I'm at six. And what do you want? Oh, I want you to catch me, cause I'm falling in love. Try back in 50 years. Maybe I'll be blind and senile enough to say yes. Okay. I'll leave. I wasn't sexy enough. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> but anyways. That's gonna be it for Vampire the Masquerade Butt Lines for right now. Next time we come back to the stream, we'll be back at it with this game. Uh, as for Corpse Party, I said it earlier. We finished the main game of Corpse Party, but there's some extra chapters in there that do... That seem like they do explain some things in the story. Um, so, we'll take a break from Corpse Party for a bit. And if I don't stream any any Vampire the Masquerade, I'll find a different game for that slot. But, for right now, for right now, for the main story of Corpse Party, that stuff is finished. When we come back to Corpse Party, it's gonna we're going to do the extra chapters. At least the ones that seem to, like, have any have any significance on the main story and then yeah that's it for the plans of the stream the the schedule for the stream is just you know as open as it's always been right because these two i have my two nights that are like my guaranteed nights right as for the youtube channel oh by the way if you're watching this on twitch live thank you for stopping by it helps out immensely and if you're watching it on the vods I hope I was entertaining enough for you. Tonight was a little bit more laid back. I felt very more relaxed than usual. Uh, maybe because I'm coming off the heels of Corpse Party. I don't have to read a bunch of shit. Right? Um, but yeah, if you're watching the VODs, thank you very much. I hope it's entertaining for you. And I know some of you guys do watch the VODs. Because some of you guys actually tell me. <laughs> and I also get notifications where it's like, Hey man, somebody just followed you in the middle of the day. And I was like, oh, I guess people are watching. <laughs> thank you. Um, as for the YouTube, well, if you're watching this on YouTube, you don't get to see the playthrough until the streams are done for it. So if you can come and watch it live, there's a link in the description below for that. That leads to my Twitch page. You can follow me there or sub if you want, you know, hand me a little money, <laughs> but, um, there's that. There's also a link to my Twitter. Twitter's on the screen as well. If you care about that i tweet here and there i'm not really crazy active on it i try to be more active but you know it's uh you know it, it's kind of like come and go right um and that's pretty much it for all that back to the youtube page if you're watching this on youtube and if you're not subscribed and you like this please subscribe and uh click that bell so you get notifications and stuff like that um there is the Scooby-Doo playthrough going on right now on the channel, uh, Night of 100 Frights, along with me uploading uh, the finishing parts of Danganronpa V3, and then after that I'll be uploading the Quartz Party stuff. And then, um, you know, for Thanksgiving, gonna put a couple of playthroughs out there. Pretty short playthroughs, they shouldn't be that long. Um, hopefully they're not that long. God, I hope so. And yeah, that's it. Just keep an eye out for that. And I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Uh, as for the poll that was on the channel, 
I have one more thing to talk about. As for the poll that was on the channel so far, Pokemon's winning. I'm not sure if the poll is done yet. Uh, YouTube's pretty weird with that shit. They don't tell you what the time limit on that is. So next time I do a poll, I'll probably just do it on Twitter. But, um... But, yeah. So far, Pokemon's winning. So at some point, uh, if the poll is over, I'll check it. But at some point, as of right now, expect some Pokemon to be showing up on the channel. Gonna be starting with Gen 1. You know... We're not going to start with the new Shining Diamond and Brilliant Pearl or whatever the fuck it's called, right? We're going to start with Gen 1 and go up that way, right? And by Gen 1, I mean Gen 1. I don't mean the remake of Gen 1, although we will do the remake at some point. Pokemon's going to be on the channel for a while. But, yep, that's pretty much everything I have to say for now. And that's the end of the stream. So, as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too. What else should I be? Please don't take off my mask. Revealing dawn.